Hi everyone, so we've got some more integration by parts to do, and this is a repeating integration by parts. It just doesn't get any better with a bit of integration. So choose the easiest bit to differentiate. So u is going to be x squared, and dv dx is going to be cos x. So du dx is 2x, and v is sine. Right, so now I'm going to put it into my formula. So u v. So x squared sine x minus the integral of 2x sine x dx. So here's my problem. I've not kind of cured my integration by parts. So I have to do integration by parts on this. I'll do it in a separate, separate colour and then I'll put it back in. So I'm going to look at the integral now of 2x sine x dx. So u is my 2x, and dv dx is my sine x. So du dx is 2, and v is minus cos x. So if I try and keep it in this little area here, uh, so it'll be, so uv will be 2x, well minus 2x cos x, minus minus, so it's going to be a plus, the integral of 2 cos x dx. So it's going to be minus 2x cos, ooh, hang on, bottom part of my x was a C then. So minus 2x cos x, and then if you look, if I integrate cos, it goes back to sine, so that'll be plus 2 sine x. So this bit here, goes back in to that other part up there. Let me change the colour back. So my, my big integral is going to be x squared sine x minus this red box, which is going to be a minus 2x cos x plus the 2 sine x. With a plus c on the end. So I've got an x squared sine x plus a 2x cos x minus a 2 sine x plus c as an answer there. So you have to really start to do it twice. If that was an x cubed cos x, you'd have to do it three times. If it was x to the power 10, you'd have to do it 10 times. So it's quite nice, but it's nice, but it's just long winded. So there's my u, there's my dv dx. It's a little bit more complicated. I think the completed pack doesn't do the second integral separate, it puts it inside it. But I think that can be quite confusing. So you're better looking at this 3x cos 2x completely separately and then putting it back in. You see how they've done it, they've not done it separately. So all this all this stuff here. I wouldn't put in until the end. That I would do, this bit here, I would do separately. And then put it back in at the end. Uh, so you can find the answer. But it's just the difference in how people teach, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at the next one then. So we've got another example. Oh my word. So the issue here with this one is that they both repeat, they both cycle. So I'm going to write down the equation equal to it when I do it, because we've got a bit of an issue here. So let's have, let's have a little go and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to choose u. It doesn't really matter which one you use, to be honest. Um, I'm going to use u as e to the x, which doesn't follow the pack, and dv dx as sine 2x. So because they both cycle, I'm going to cheat. So my du dx is e to the x, and my v will be, so sine cos minus sine minus cos. So integrating sine goes to minus cos. The 2 at the front, well, the 2 there becomes a half cos 2x. 
So I'm going to write down the equation this time, the integral of e to the x, sine 2x dx, is uv, so if I put them together, tidy it up straight in one go, minus a half e to the x cos 2x, minus the integral of minus a half e to the x uh, cos 2x. Right. So I need to do now a second lot of integration by parts because my sneakiness is to get an answer in terms of the question. So to be sneaky, we'll try to get the question appearing in my answer. Which doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but it will make a lot of sense full stop. To be fair, it's something which is, it hasn't turned up at any level, but if you don't teach it, it will be. Um, it's kind of something you do with undergraduate. The first month of doing the maths, is when you kind of do it. So, all right, so let's have a look at the red box then. So, u is minus a half e to the x, and the dv dx is cos 2x. So, du dx, oops, that's a y, du dx is minus, hang on, oh, writing does not look nice. You might say it never does, to be honest. But I'll do the best I can do. Uh, cos goes to sine, so that's going to be a half sine 2x. So that's going to be, I'll tidy that up, uv is minus a quarter e to the x sine 2x minus the integral of, tidy it up, minus minus going to give you a plus there, quarter uh, e to the x sine 2x uh, dx. Right. What I've got, if you look, is that's the question pretty much. So it looks like the question. Go back up here now. I've got to tell you, write quite small. <laughs> so the integral of e to the x sine 2x dx is, I have to write really small, so it's the minus a half e to the x cos 2x, that's a half e to the x cos 2x minus all of this bit. So I'll switch the signs on it. So that's going to be a plus quarter e to the x sine 2x minus the integral of a quarter e to the x sine 2x dx. So what I do is I get a little bit sneaky with what I'm doing. I'm going to pop this bit on the other side now. So I've got the, the question on the other side. Let me try and give myself a little bit more space if I can. There. So I've got one lot of e to the x sine sine 2x dx plus quarter of the lot of e to the x sine 2x dx is equal to now minus a half e to the x cos 2x plus a quarter e to the x sine 2x. Are you okay so far? So I've just put these, I've got it, I've got the answer in terms of the question. And then I've moved the question over. Um, so, on the left hand side, I've got one lot of the question plus a quarter lots of the question. So I've actually got 5 over 4 lots of the question. So, one lot of the question plus a quarter lots of the question. 5 over 4 lots of the question. That's equal to minus a half.